Hi, good morning. Today I want to talk about the legendary knife in Southeast Asia, a Kukri knife. As you know, when you're coming to Southeast Asia, uh, one of the main machete or the knives that they use locals, especially the Nepalese, uh, Vietnamese, Cambodians and Thai people are Kukri knife. So it's very famous because of the name and because of the usage. Uh, as you know, Nepalese in World War II, when they worked for Brits in World War II war as a part of their army, they have a Kukri knife on their belt and they were very uh, brave fighters and warriors, which they know that as they have some kind of like a, the rifle in one hand and the Kukri in the other hand and they start to killing the kamikaze or the Japanese, if I'm not wrong, the Japanese fighters which they were quite like fearless fighters of Japanese. So Gurkha from Nepal was the only one who using these kind of knives and could fight back without any fear of death uh, to fight back with Japanese. Uh, if you're coming to Southeast Asia and you're looking to buy something very special from Southeast Asia and take it back with yourself, if you are a fan of outdoor bushcraft or uh, jungle, I mean, activities going outside, so one of the best thing you can buy is actually a cookery knife. This one is actually, I ordered from one of the local guy who can make these knives from the carbon steel. And I'm telling you what are the cookery knife, what are the usage of cookery knife, how they are good. And you can just search other things in the internet about the legends that using the cookery knife and the meat and the stories about it. So the main thing is very, uh, well known about the Kukri knife is about two different curve they have which the bottom curve which is used for the a precise cutting for even peeling the fruits or uh, using the uh, wood feather for as a, a fire starter and the top part actually this top curve is actually used as a hatchet or the bigger Kukri is actually use this type the top curve for chopping trees and bamboo uh, this is well known for that purpose, so it can do the both same thing in one machete or knife. There are few things that you have to know before you buy any cookery. First of all, you have to make sure the handle is long enough to get in your hand because when you're chopping something, so this handle actually should completely feel your hand slightly longer to don't make your hand a bit uh, tired and weak during the chopping the trees uh, chopping the I mean the stem of tree or the bamboo or anything else and beside that you should have a good leverage so you have a good balance actually from the whole weight of the blade and as well as the, the weight of the handle so you can do the precise cutting with this part with the uh, inner curve actually of the blade uh, the one I have it it doesn't have a death balance so when I'm just using for chopping actually it makes my hand quite uh, painful it's not very strong uh, make sure if you're buying cookery uh, the blade weight should be quite heavy not very thin blade not very uh, low weight or ultra light actually cookery cookery should be heavy so when you chop it helps you the weight helps you to chop the tree or chop the piece of wood or anything else Another thing is when you sharpening it, you have to make sure the inner part, the inner curve actually has a sharper edge than a, the higher one. Uh, normally the blade quality is a way that when you chop, it doesn't like chip out the, the blade tip, which is good. I don't know how they do it. I tried to put some videos for you so you can see how they do it. The, the workmanship is quite uh, interesting and amazing how they do it actually here and how they uh, heat treat the blade edge to keep it longer period for longer period uh, I think I bought it about if I'm not wrong 800 or 700 baht so if you want to convert it to US dollars about 20 to 30 dollar uh, this is a very simple one actually it came with a small sheet the plastic sheet they make it for you normally and I had a one old sheet for my one of my knives which I purchased it and then I just give it away as I didn't like it it's too heavy and it's not too sharp and so I put it inside I put the screw to make it completely stable and then my cookery can go inside and because of this type of the modern knife sheet 
so I can just attach it to my bag or to my belt easily. I'll show you how it works and you can make decision but I'm suggesting if you really want to buy kukri in, in this part of the world especially Southeast Asia make sure so first thing it's heavy the blade should be heavy second thing the blade uh, whites should be a, a slightly bigger than this maybe double size of this actually this a small one doesn't make sense they are just actually quite nice and cute but it's not working very well but the bigger one yes it works very well I don't know about the rules in your country if you can import this kind of knives to your country if it's legal there to use it go ahead for that uh, they are very famous for their work especially with bamboo they are super handy you don't need any hatchet or saw or something else maybe it's not bad that I share something with you there is a one interesting story about the cookery in Nepalese culture if I'm not wrong which when you are uh, taking out your cookery out of your pocket actually out of the sheet you eat the cookery should meet the blood so it means the fresh blood has to come out so it was a belief in that time which even the when they want to even take out the cookery to show it to you what is it and if there is no one to cut the person or kill the person or kill the animal they cut their thumb to take the blood out to show that okay finally the blood came out and it's still blessed and then they put it back in the shit so you can search it is quite interesting and I know many Nepalese involved, they kill tons of Japanese by these kukris only, not even gun, only with the kukris, bare hand kukri, they just go there and kill those fierce warriors from Japan during the World War II. Uh, it's good to have it with you if you are a fan of uh, machete or those kind of big knives. I am not a fan of that, but if you are a fan, it's not bad to have it, it's really good. And there is some interesting uh, item also here uh, in Thailand, especially I mean, although this is from Nepal, the origin of these cookeries. But I said in Southeast Asia, like Vietnam, in Thailand, uh, Cambodia, or Laos, they are making these cookeries all over the place. I mean, in many workshops. But that's a very nice souvenir from the Southeast Asia that you can buy. Unfortunately, I have to give this away because I cannot take it with myself wherever I want to go. Uh, out of Thailand so I have to give it to one of my friends actually I hope I could send it to you so if you're looking for a cookery if you want this one check out how we can do that I really don't know about the post service here in Thailand if they are allowed to send this knife outside of Thailand because this is called as a weapon uh, but I try to check if it's possible that maybe in my next video I will announce it how we can just give it away this knife and you can have it with the sheet have a good day take care of yourself bye